And welcome back, gamers. This is SKS with more. Oh my god, it's Seattle. Sir? Is something wrong? I've been shot. You're the one! I, I saw sneak the baby out! Oh my I god. need help! Please! He must have been wounded in the riot last night. The riot! Last night, and he's made it all this way. Do we want to be gentle or tough? Well, we need to be nice to him since he saw us sneak a fucking baby out of a hospital. Because we're dumb. Because that always makes sense to sneak a baby out. Good lord. People are stupid anymore. Yay. Oh god. Come on. Yeah, you are close enough. Oh, wait. I picked the wrong one, didn't I? Oh, we're going to be tough. Whoops. Every time you scream, the glass shard in your chest shifts and blood pools in your lungs. He's like, I can't see my lungs. How do I know this is true? That's better. Back in my days of Nagasaki and Hiroshima, I survived. Look at this face. Mr. Miyagi? Alright, so let's play this old cliche game where we get rid of the doubt bubbles. Good job, Catherine Heigl. As you all have been keeping me updated on my Heigl news, that uh, she's been in a lot more movies than I thought she was in. Thanks for that useless fact, but uh, I appreciate you gamers paying attention. It's always good to know that uh, you're still watching out there. Uh, I'm getting toward the end of this game. This this scene right here only has, or this act only has three scenes. So I can treat you. Don't touch me. Careful, baby stiller. This whole thing was your fault. I'm not forgetting that. Uh... Oh yeah, falling on a shard of glass doesn't help you much either. If need a stretcher over here and page Dr. Han. You can't page her. She's not Dr. allowed to Han's operate. Second OR two. What? Oh wait, okay. the other one. Okay, that's fine. Um. Tell Dr. Bailey that uh, I'm taking this man into OR to perform surgery. You can't do that. You're not a real doctor. All you do is sleep with people. You're the ditzy blonde character. Oh, God. This guy's dead. He survived two atomic bombs, and now he's going to die to Katherine Heigl. What a way to go. Listen how serious the movie is. W. Sung. Glass shard removal. Two, four, six, eight. Removing glasses. Always great. Oh, that's a nice one. How do we know that's where it was? Look at the game house. Look. Well, he's got one piece of glass shard. I bet it's his heart. Oh, look how big that piece of glass was. Ooh. That had to be nice. I have to take a picture of that on my phone and send it to the doctor's meeting. So everybody could see it. Oh, look at this. SKS performing surgery with the best of them. Look at that. Bam. So we're awesome. Pure doctor right here. Not only can I save the world, colonize, I can operate and take glass out of your chest. It'd be funny if he flatlined. Was that a girl in a bikini back there in the right? It's like a metal bikini. Like, here was the butt and here was the bra. Hair. Huh. I'm really going crazy. George McFly! Hey, it's our buddy again! He's had so much happen to him. Sir, you're losing a lot of blood. Please. Sit down now. Yeah. Why does it, why don't they send this guy home? He was supposed to get out hours before the lockdown. I just <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Pit seizures. Oh, sutures. My bad. Seizures. Yeah, obviously you spell seizures that way. All right, so let's suture this wound. I think that's the proper way to... Oh, shit. Good job, George. You don't know how to count. I feel like... No, shit! I feel like I don't know how to count. My brain's almost dead. We only got seven days of school left. Shit! I'm gonna fail because I can't count. <laughs> oh, gamers. Look at him. He's crying. Typical, O'Malley. Typical. Good job. Alright, let's try to suit up Mr. Fonzarelli again. Hey! Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Welcome to Let's Play. We're going to count numbers from one to twenty today with your host, SKS. I think the way Alex has been treating you lately is awful. I'd apologize if I was still seeing him. Well, well I'd apologize for him if I was still seeing him, but I, I'm not. I ended it. You're... you're not? The way he treats people... N no, the way he treats you is terrible. Yeah. I don't want to be with someone like that. 
I mean, the dick was good and all. I need to let Alexi know how I feel. I found out what happens to George in the show. I don't want to spoil it for you people who are watching it on Netflix, if it's even on there. I haven't looked for that. I'm watching Dual Survival. What the hell is this? Um, something tells me I gotta hit this one. No. Um. Um. No! I was right there! Damn it, O'Malley! I have no guts. No guts at all. His guts are so low that they're slowing down the recording feature on my he computer. Treats people. No, the way yes, he can treats I skip you this? is terrible. I don't want to be with it someone like that. Okay. Um, okay. Here we go. Yes! Quit slowing up, game. You're pissing me off. Uh-oh. Oh, shit on! George! McFly! <laughs> oh! I, uh... What's Fonzarelli gonna say? His hands are still in a thumbs-up position. Nothing! He was... He was having seizures earlier, and we sewed him up, and now he's fine. I'll never understand this. And I was demoted to chief resident. Well, how about that? Oh, Lord. Christina. I'm having some trouble. Your right cheek looks humongous, dude. Spit that wad out. Should we advise or ignore him? Uh, well, we're a doctor. By law, we have to advise. I hope that's advise. I forget now. There we go. You need to be intubated. <gasps> no. What's that even Stubborn mean? Stubborn and stupid. Mean and insensitive. Yeah. Bitchy and cockalicious. <laughs> Wow, it really took her to think that I'm the only doctor around to help him. So we're going to cut ourselves away. We're the only doctor who can help Eddie, but we're going to cut ourselves away to help Eddie. So if we get rid of ourselves, we'll be able to help Eddie. That was the greatest cut ever. She got a big mole on her face in this picture. It's like right there. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, Eddie. Oh god, I almost ran out of time just fucking around. I should take my games more serious, shouldn't I, gamers? There's gonna be a thousand comments. No! Ventolin treatment. Oh, I guess we're gonna put him on the ventilator. Oh, wow. Oops. That was nowhere close and it gave me credit for that, but whatever. Oh, fuck! You can't mess up putting drops of water in something. If you put them in too fast, you just count. Really, game? Screw you. You're okay. I'm not gonna die until 11.22 p.m. tonight. 22 or 23. Why would you want to know that? It's my life's work. Look how it big his left me. jaw is. Not the right. It was our right, but his left jaw is like humongous. <laughs> and now, I... Thanks for helping me. He's just like, I can't move my face. Maybe he had a stroke. Maybe he doesn't have all this other stuff. Maybe it's a stroke. And, you know what? I'm just going to roll right on through to the next act. Oh, God. Look at this dude. He just looks evil. No. I want a different doctor. Different doctor. Short staff. Stereotypes are very good in this hospital. Here. Have an assassin. The object of my affection and the patient I need to interview in the same room. Lucky me. Interview? Uh oh. Catherine Heigl's fucked. Look how she clips her little name badge on her nipple. I'd be happy to make a statement. <laughs> Look at that face! Oh? Make excuse or distract him. We're a whore. We're totally gonna distract him. Hey, uh, hey, assassin dude, you wanna go make out in the back room? This game is really laggy today. So you didn't come here to talk to me? <laughs> no, that's that? just a perk. Hello? Another patient reported you knew about the back entrance. How did you know it was unguarded? The blonde. What's her name? The beautiful and talented surgeon who saved your life is Dr. Isabel Stevens. Uh -oh. You saved my life? Darn, I really wanted him to rat her out. I have to be humble. Um. Oh 
god. I hate these games because it's really hard to move. Let's move the pubic balls. Oh my god. Yes! Okay, that was really close. Look at all these little different things they're doing, gamers. Wouldn't be much of a doctor if I couldn't save a life here or there. Mr. Soong, how did you know about the exit? I found the door myself. I was desperate. Heart rate skyrocketing. It hurts. It's because he's lying. Blood. The glass must have nicked an artery near his heart. Code team! Oh, good job. You made the guy lie for his last thing. How do you feel now, Dr. Isabel Stevens, or whatever your name is? Good job, Izzy. Oh, my God. This is... This is ridiculous. His last thoughts on Earth is to lie for her. Good Lord. Now, this is not going to save his life. I'm sorry. If your heart is bleeding to death, giving you oxygen is not going to work. Look at he's making a fist. He's out. How is he going to be making a fist? He's going to be... This is bullshit. Now I'm really getting pissed. When you mess up my Grey's Anatomy game, that's when... What? No! No. What the... I don't understand why it's not working. Okay. I was like, I wasn't doing anything wrong. I wasn't even moving. Thump, 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 thump. Bringing him back. Okay, we called a code team, but that was... There's... Uh-oh. Good job, Izzy. You didn't even save his life. You're terrible. Somebody turn that thing off. They need you to call it. Time of death. 842. You killed our Japanese friend. He survived two atomic bombs, and you fucking kill him, Izzy Stevens. God, you're so wasteless. Or whatever. Or a waste. Or whatever. Oh, I'm so tore up about Mr. Soong. Oh. And now we're back to whore. This is all I need. Look at her. She looks bitchy, too. I hope he comes through just BAM! Punches her in the face. Did Christina contract another incredibly infectious disease and ask you to keep quiet? Ooh, snap. Do you know that he saved a kid's life? And he even made a joke about it when he was doing it? Some kid wrecked in front of his house, and he ran out from his house with a crowbar. He broke the window, pulled the kid out, and the kid goes, You look familiar, and he says, I'm a doctor. And then he called 911 and saved the kid's life. How's that for an actor? That's pretty beast right there. All right, so let's avoid anger. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be easy. Oh shoot! Are you serious? This is terrible. This is actually really easy. I can't believe they made this a game. Yay! Good job. We're gonna let him be a smartest. I'm just furious that no one in psych takes my diagnosis of walking corpse syndrome seriously. It's a pretty obscure and unusual diagnosis. <laughs> I hope it's that woman. Is it the walking corpse? Yep. Her pulse is incredibly slow. This is formaldehyde. Well, how did she get in the cabinet? Did you all give her the key? Is that what happens here at Seattle, Grace? For being such an awesome hospital, you have some shitty... Oh, good lord. Yeah, we didn't see those. I mean, they're just big bubble man's been here. Wrecking up the place. And Miss P. Parky. Derek, her pupils are dilated and there's cupping. She's got a cerebral edema. You don't know that by looking through her skull. You had to do x-rays or cat scans or something. What the hell is wrong with you people? And now we're doing an emergency craniotomy or t whatever it is. Oh, we get to shave her head. Oh, that was an awesome. Woo! Look, it shaves both ways. Yeah, let's rub it raw. Woohoo! Nothing like a good bald beaver. Oh, whoops. Yep, I'm awesome at cutting brain scalps. Yes. Yeah, I cut a circle and yet it was that. Oh, wow.
I'm concentrating, gamers. That's why I get quiet. Oh, yeah. I was worried it wouldn't let me have that in. Good job! This wouldn't have happened if Psyche had listened to me. They should have taken the situation seriously. That's why you should be proud you told me about Christina's condition. You probably prevented another outbreak. Yeah. That's when you need to learn your place, you little slut. God, this is the greatest game ever. Why do I, I, this is why I rush home from school, gamers, so I could play this. Now we're back to Christina. Do I look awful? You look yes. like shit. No, ah, she said it, just in a nice way. Maybe she should... It'd be funny if she karate chopped his throat. Hoo She is Chinese or something, right? Yes. Oh, we can save his life. Let's take his battle, battles. In rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, that's rhythm, all right. Good job. He's talking to you, so that means he's conscious. Hey, Eddie, stay awake. These CDC doctors have minimal training, like all government-trained employees. Is that why you infected me? To make sure you had a real doctor in the room? <laughs> Doesn't seem like an equitable relationship. If you get worse, all I can take care of is your paperwork. <laughs> wow. He's just so... Oh, we get to play a song. Um... Oh, it's all sad. You know what's gonna happen? Hey, Eddie, you're dead. Not yet, but soon dead. Eddie. <laughs> That's my number one chart topper called Is Eddie. There anyone I you did. Oh, I'm not good at sad or nurturing. I'm good at medicine. You seem to be great at denial. Ooh. That's because she's a woman. Oh, that was mean. I have to keep Eddie talking. So let's get rid of these big ass doubt bubbles of ourselves. Because obviously, even though he's going unconscious, we're scared of our ability to talk to him, so we're doubting ourselves. Which makes tons of sense. I really don't like how my computer's acting with these. They're making terrible noises. Oh god. Hurry up! Oh good lord. Get off the screen! Eddie! Eddie! Chariots of Fire's playing in the background. So, uh, how many years of school did you do to become an actuary? Seventeen. I did eight. I well, took eight years of tests. I saved lives. Which you obviously suck at. <laughs> oh! <laughs> shit on! Doctor... Doctor O, how do you like that? Wow. Right. You know, that'd be great if they just ended the act right there. I mean, I think I would be happy with that.